OakMerge is an import-export utility specifically targeted at helping people get data in and out of ACT. Let's do a quick run-through of a basic merge. If I look at the demo database and I have query on user 6, this one will not have any data in it yet. What we'll do is find some records and update it. So OakMerge can be running. It is running. Here's some previously defined merges automatically to update or manual. We're going to skip those and just run through and do the merge. The sample files that we're going to be using are not Excel or Access. We're just going to be using a delimited file today. And I want to use the one for contacts. These are all samples that are in the manual that come with the program. And I'll say next. So we're going to go from some contacts information into the ACT demo database. Second step is we pick the table we want to update. Here's the tables that are available in the more advanced versions. The basic version comes with the, the company's contacts and groups. So you pick we're going to be merging contacts. It automatically maps based on spelling. We'll add in uh, maybe contact. We'll match on three different fields. And then we'll go down and uh, put something here. And uh, I can kind of just filter. So user 6. I wanted to put in that some some data, so we'll put year-to-date sales there. User seven, we'll add the uh, credit limit, and um, I've got a code we'll throw into user nine called the in field. And I'm gonna, this one field I'm not going to map called um, AR balance. You'll notice uh, it'll tell us, hey, this wasn't mapped. So. Um, what I'm going to do is clear that, see what's mapped. So here's the fields that we have mapped. We're matching on three fields. We'll find those matches. If they're there, we're going to update. This is very important. If we're not there, a lot of times we'll skip. In this case, we don't want to skip. We want to add because we're in our example. We're going to update them if they're, add them if they're not there. So we'll now say next. And it warns us, hey, there's a couple of fields here that weren't mapped. Very, very helpful. We're going to say we know, we understand, those aren't mapped. Now I can run a validation, which will do everything and preview it and tell us if, if you run this, okay, if you run this, you're going to update nine records and add one new record to your database. You've got 10 rows in your CSV, you've got 200 uh, in the ACT database. We're going to add 10, um, update nine and add one to this if you run it. So I'm saying, okay, sounds good. Let's do another run. And we'll, we'll say complete run this time. Versus we'll only do the first three or start in the middle or you know, save it. There's some other options there we won't go into. It says, are you sure you want to run it? That It ran it. This time it does not say validated. It actually updated, you know, nine records. One told ACT, hey, update these. So let's go take a look in ACT. Uh, when we're in ACT, if we do a lookup, user 6, it's always a good idea to refresh the database too, but we'll kind of just say, hey, is, is there any data there? It found, oh, guess what, 10 records, one of which just got created, the other nine got updated, but now we've got some data there, and the nine records user field was updated, some data's in there, the data was brought in, and one of the records uh, was created today is also in this list, it actually got created today. So that's a quick overview of how Oak Merge can uh, process data and either update data that's there, append data like notes and history and activities, uh, data opportunities, or other things, or create new records. It can also delete records that are there by find them and delete them. It can also export the records out to CSV. Check it out in the free trial.